Hi, my name is Cecilia. Today I'm going to discuss language acquisition for deaf and hard of hearing infants and children. Language acquisition is defined as the process by which humans acquire the ability to comprehend and produce language, according to the University of Georgia. Language comes in many forms. Some are visual, some are spoken, So why is it important that a child or anyone learns a language? According to Michonne Marks, if children do not receive frequent accessible language before the age of four, they may never achieve fluency in any language, which can stunt cognitive development. So she is saying that if you do not learn a language before the age of four, that it is possible that you are not going to reach your full potential. What is a language? A language, according to dictionary.com, is any system of formalized symbols, signs, sounds, gestures, or the like used or conceived as a means of communicating thought or emotion, etc. One language is American Sign Language. Another is French Sign Language. There is also English. There is, as are many other languages in the world. So what does it mean to have a native language? A native language, according to dictionary.com, is a language that a person acquires fully through extensive exposure in childhood. This video is an example of a native language. The child in this video is signing more, a sign that is used in American Sign Language. This is showing that a child is using a language to get what they want or need. According to my research, the percentage of deaf and hard of hearing infants born to deaf parents is 10%. So it leaves 90% of deaf or hard of hearing infants born to hearing parents. So what does that mean for the infant and their family? What are the options given to these families? Well, one of these options is a hearing aid which is simply a device that sits on the ears of the deaf or hard of hearing child to boost whatever hearing they have available to them. There is also a cochlear implant, which does require surgery, where a magnet is placed under the skin and, and connected to a hearing aid type device so that it can process sounds that around the child or person. Another, op another option is American Sign Language or whatever sign language is used in your country. And the picture to, the, to my left is a picture of two girls signing to each other. A language has grammar, a language has nuances and has many things to it so that your brain can process what is going on around you. So what happens if a child does not receive language or does not have access to language? They can language deprivation is something that can ha that happens to many infants who are not exposed to languages around them. It is a chronic lack of full access to a natural language during the critical period of language acquisition. The critical period of language acquisition is up to between birth to four years old, and a natural language can be visual or verbal. So what, what happens if a child has language deprivation? Well, they have problems with mental health, such as depression, lower success in school, 
There is also language deprivation system, syndrome, and they're less likely to have empathy for others because they do not understand what is going on around them. What does it mean for a language to be accessible? Hmm. If a child is exposed regularly and frequently to a language naturally without explicit training and exercise, for example, what happens with hearing children in a verbal environment or deaf children in a signing environment or a visual environment, that language qualifies accessible to that child. So for example, if an infant has hearing loss, a language that is most accessible to them would be sign language because that is something they can take in with their eyes and do not have to real, rely on what hearing they have. In my next clip, I'm going to show a video. This video shows that a deaf child can benefit from two, multiple language languages. This young lady in this video is deaf. She has cochlear implants. Her father is hearing, who you will also see in this video. So that young lady's name is Kylie. And as you can see, not only does she know sign language, but her family is learning it as well. Not only is it benefiting in her being able to function with and without her cochlear implants, it's also helping her to function when she's not with her parents or when she is at school. So what are reasons an infant or child should be exposed to sign language? Well, there are several and I will touch on three of them. The first is education. According to Marx, English performance is found to improve with even moderate level ASL or American Sign Language skills. And those with highest ASL abilities achieve significantly higher English scores and literacy skills than those with minimal ASL abilities. So what Marx is saying is that children and infants who have been exposed to ASL learn English at a better frequency and are able to better understand what they are reading. They, their English skills are better, they're be better able to have success in school. And could you imagine not being able to communicate what is going on around you or to interact with your peers? Children who are deaf and hard of hearing and do not have effective language, whether that be a verbal language or a visual language, can often feel left out and not a part of their surroundings or even those they interact with. Many times they often feel left out when they are around their families because they cannot understand what is going on with them if the family does not learn sign language. There's also abuse. These five were self-reported by college students who are deaf but that does not mean that it is not just happening to those who are deaf. If you do not have a language, you are not able to report what is going on in your life. 
according to Humphreys and some other authors that he worked with, that exposure to sign language for deaf, hard of hearing, or even hearing children results in language development that follows the same patterns. I'm sorry, let me rephrase that. For deaf and, hearing, deaf and hard of hearing children, exposure to sign language is the same as exposing a hearing child to a verbal language. They are better able to learn what is going on around them. They are better able to understand what is going on at school. They are better able to be productive members of society. So what can we do? Instead of just saying, you can, your child can go for a in, cochlear implant or a hearing aid. We can provide professionals and those who work with deaf and hard of hearing children of all the options and how they can even be used together. You can also be given information on where and how to learn American Sign Language. The gentleman on the screen next to me is named John. He is a CODA, or a child of a deaf adult. And let's just see what he has to say in this video. So, excuse me, John made a comment that it was by deaf, written by a deaf person, and also illustrated by a person who was deaf. This is important because ASL is their language. It should be taught, or children should be exposed to this language. This is just one of the many options that families have and should be told about so that their child can have the best life possible with language.